and welcome everyone to the Commodity Report for the 9th through to the 10th of March 2023, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So with that, right now we have oil prices, they're trading all the way back down towards 76 US dollars per barrel. Silver prices over the course of this week, they dropped 5% at the start of this week. Last week we had natural gas prices, they surged 20% to the upside. We have gold currently up 1%. On the day in platinum prices, they've broken back out towards one week highs. The major opportunities, as we see it right now, are reload opportunities at the moment on the energies and also on the metals as we move towards non-farm payroll on Friday, CPI data on Tuesday, European Central Bank announcement next Thursday, and Friday's quad reaching. There are going to be back to back macro driven opportunities for you to capitalize on on commodities. You only have to look at what happened with oil prices over the beginning of the month here where we had oil prices, they broke out over 800 points to the upside from $73 per barrel all the way back above $80 per barrel. In fact, we took the opportunity at the start of this week to bank over two trades, 650 points per position on oil as we had a break back above $80 per barrel. As we discussed with you previously, look at opportunities here as you start getting towards the middle of the month as you get closer towards quad witching and non-farm payroll to look at lower prices to reload on the energies here. So oil, very much looking at WTI crude oil here, sub $75 a barrel, back down towards 70 these are the key areas that we've got on the lookout right now. Right now, of course, we've got oil prices. They're trading already back at $76 per barrel. That's after breaking out to $80 a barrel at the start of the week. So we've already seen a $4 decline to the downside. That was further accelerated by Jerome Powell's testimonial this week on Tuesday, which was, of course, perceived as more hawkish. Immediately, we saw cascading sell-offs to the downside on metals and energies, giving you much better prices to reload. I also like silver down here at $20 per ounce or lower. Or of course, like gold at $1,800 per ounce or lower. These are some of the big opportunities that we're keeping on the radar at the moment. Expect, again, big catalyst to be non-farm payroll on Friday. It's obviously another big macro-driven opportunity to capitalize on that volatility. Next week, of course, again, we've got Tuesday, the CPI data. Historically, that can be a massive catalyst for explosive moves on commodities, and again, you want to look out for that end of quarter profit taking that you often see around quad witching next Friday, which again, all sets up for big opportunities for fresh capital to come into the market, moving into a new quarter. Once you transition into April, new quarter, new month, new tax year, again, this affords you big opportunities to capitalize on many of the cycles that we typically get for commodities and energies once we hit the month of April. So you definitely do not want to miss out on that. So yet again, oil has proved itself to be very much a range bound market. This is very simply where you want to be reloading at the lower end of the channels then capitalizing on the breakouts back towards $80 per barrel or higher. This has been rinsed and repeat time and time again throughout 2022 and already four times now in 2023. You've had an opportunity to buy at the lows, bank at the highs, buy at the lows, bank at the highs and so forth already four times over the course of this year just on crude oil alone. Brent crude oil also have that on the radar at $80 per barrel or lower and of course natural gas prices if we were for argument's sake to get a revisit back down towards two or 1.5 Absolutely, these are going to be areas of interest for you to capitalize. Of course, you want to further align this with the real-time data-driven cycles for each commodity, for the daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly. Being aware of the cycles, how they move into major news items such as CPI data, quad witching, non-farm payroll, very important to be aware of the typical capital flows that you get during these major driven news items. Alongside that, further compound this with the areas of liquidity that are targeted both for entries and for exits to get precision in your entries and your exits for commodities. Further align that with the intermarket correlations in the market. The ratios, of course, over this month, what we've seen is the pattern to gold ratio, that dropped down to 0.5. As a result, pattern was a better buy opportunity than gold. Pattern prices last week broke out 8%, 800 point move to the upside. Then further align that as well with the macroeconomics, the fundamentals, the geopolitics, the sentiment in the market. Then finally, 
really you want to further align that with how the hedge funds, money managers, banks and institutions are positioned in the market, that is going to help you massively to get an edge. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the professional research driven approach to the market and join our professional mentorship program, there is an opportunity for you to do so. Just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to make an application to join our professional mentorship program. Thank you.